guys, this is Bill. Uh, this is a quick uh, tutorial on how to make a quick MIDI drum track as a click um, or a metronome track that you can record to. Uh, so here it goes. Um, I got, I just started a new project. Um, then I'll click on software instrument and I'm not going to use a uh, superior drummer I'll just use one of the Logic Express drum sets uh, create and it's going to give you all these lists uh, or this list of stuff over here right now go defaults to electric piano uh, just go over here to drums and percussion if that's what you want to use for a click track uh, if you want to use one of these other things, you can use that too. You, possibilities are endless. Uh, so we'll take an acoustic drum kit, a uh, rock drum kit, and I'll load the audio files. Alright, then control and right click right here, and it'll say create empty MIDI region. region excuse me. And that comes up. Alright. Now go down here to piano roll. Come up over here and pull this up. All right, now you got this roll. Up here on the top, you got a green line. That's your loop. All right. <clears throat> All I did was click on that left click, or you can come down here and click on that. All right. Now you have this grid. And on this piano, there's drum sounds. Okay. I go up here first to velocity. And I'll click 96. Just to make all the drum hits the same for now. And make them loud. Go to pencil tool over here. Click on it. Bass drum. I got them big because I was just doing another project here. Draw these across here. I have another one making a MIDI drum track. Then if you want to do a uh, snare, let's see, we can do it on, on the two and the four. I think this one's a snare. Yeah. Alright, and then you want to set your tempo. You can set the tempo first or later or in the middle of the song. Right now it's on 120, double click. I uh, hit 110, how about that? Or we could do 111. Oops. 111. Enter. Okay, this is what it's going to sound like. Uh, obviously that's really fast at 111. I'll move it down to 55. If you want to put an accent, you can put a cymbal crash. I'm not sure about this drum set. So now you got a steady beat. Then, uh, if you want to make that a click track, you can X out of that, and then go to the top right part of it, and you got this curl with the arrow. That that means you're gonna loop it. Then you just pull it out for however many measures you want, off into an infinity, or however you want to do it. And then that's your click track. Uh, or your metronome, whatever you want to call it. There's your timing for your recording your guitar. I hope this helps. Later.